All right, so you open up Adobe Acrobat, you go up here to Advanced Menu, and then down to Document Processing, and then Batch Processing. Click on that, and then you go to uh, New Sequence in this window, and then just choose a name, um, you know, Virtual Group. Uh, and then you uh, choose the select commands and you scroll down to JavaScript and under JavaScript click select the execute JavaScript and add that and then you double click or right there where it says script and it'll pop up this JavaScript editor and then you're going to put in that uh, code that I'll send to you um, let me see, I actually might have it right here so you can just read it off the screen let's see, here's my no, well let me do that. Okay, so I'll send you the, the text to enter there, but um, so again, what you want to do oh yeah, there it is, good. Okay, so this is the, the text that you want to enter for the script itself. Just make sure it's on a separate line. It's, this is the uh, forward slash and the backslash. You know, comment out the title. Uh, so this is the actual line of script and just make sure it ends in a semicolon. Okay, so let me go back to where we were. Um, we'll do new sequence, reverse order, and then we'll choose execute JavaScript, C click on that, and then Double click on script, and then enter. Oh, no, that's not right. Well, anyway, you'll just enter the script right there and say OK. Uh, and then I guess if you need to edit again, you can just double click on it and say OK. But then you just say OK and OK and close. And then you should be able to go. Um, the way the script works is, is you don't open the document, so you just go to advanced uh, again, and you go to. I'm sorry, you go to, um, advanced document processing, batch processing, and then you select it. This is the working one that I had previously. Uh, as you can see, this is the one I just created, but it didn't work. So, um, this is the one that, that actually works. So, you say um, run sequence, execute, and then it's going to give you a prompt to select the PDF. And so, you do that. Um, and then go to the PDF, select it, and run it, and it should reverse it for you and prompt you where to save it. And that's about it. So uh, hopefully that's straightforward enough. And um, call me or email me if you got any questions.